Hello everybody, welcome to chapter 19 of uh, the VW Chronicles, hopefully our last one. Uh, when we last spoke, uh, we're all aware of my epic failure, my, my plan to uh, somehow lock the carburetor, throw it in place, and I was going to solve all of my problems, and I solved nothing. So, uh, again, when we last spoke, my, my plan was to buy a new carburetor, which I did. And we were going to sand the uh, spacer of the mechanical fuel pump. Uh, that plan has changed slightly because the following week when I went to start Myrna, just to let her run and, you know, run, uh, I couldn't get her to start. And I noticed that there wasn't any fuel in the filter, which means that the pump has failed. So I purchased an electric fuel pump, which we're going to install, install today. We'll leave the old carb on just to see if I can get her started and running. And then uh, we'll go from there. Anyway, without further ado, let's get after it. Hopefully this, uh, this solves the problem. So what we're gonna do is pull those two nuts off. Well, first we gotta disconnect the fuel lines, but we're gonna pull those two nuts, pull all of this apart and uh, cap Uh, where the mechanical fuel pump was, and then we're gonna s install the uh, electric fuel pump. Hopefully it's a relatively simple process. Let's get after it. Okay, so it took a minute, but the mechanical fuel pump is out, and there's that spacer everyone was yapping about, and every video said, you're supposed to lift this up, and it should just drop right down, and sure as shit, it's dropping right down. So I, I don't believe sanding this uh, would have solved the problem. I truly believe that the fuel pump itself has probably been, been failing, or at least that's what I'm hoping. But anyway, fuel pump is out. So now uh, I'm gonna put the cap on and then we'll go to the next step, which is putting the electric fuel pump on. Okay, so as you can see, I have capped where the mechanical fuel pump used to be. I have installed the electronic fuel pump and sort of temporarily, there's my negative, which is running up to the coil. You can see the wire here. And then my positive also just sort of temporarily going to the coil. I, I, I think we've got it going because uh, I've been cranking on it for a minute and you can see there's some fuel in the filter. So the only thing I don't know is when I turn the key, you know, to the on, the pump starts pumping, which I think is good. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it's just gonna keep pumping, but I think that's okay. As long as she's running, she's drawing fuel. Anyway, let's, let's give her a crank and see, uh, see what happens if she starts and then we'll, we'll sort of clean up the wiring because I realize this is probably not the best way to do it but I think I'm onto something okay I'm gonna turn it on you'll hear the fuel pump I think and then uh, then we'll fire her off
Well, she seems to be running. I, I also plugged back in the electronic choke, as you can see there. I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. It's been running for just a few minutes. Um, and then see if she'll start, see if I get my same, uh, you know, it's run for a minute, let it sit and settle. Uh, and then I'm gonna hardwire this in. See what happens. All right, it's been a few minutes. Let's see, uh, let's see if Myrna starts. Okay, so here's my hatchet job. Uh, the hot lead to the pump is now tied into the choke. Got a little zip tie action there. I recognize that's probably not the best idea. And then our ground to the pump goes up to the coil. You'll see the blue connector there. So once again, it's been sitting for a minute as I sort of permanently wired it up. Um, instead of just having them hanging on the post, uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if she starts. Okay, so really all that's left to do is take Myrna out on the road for a drive. And I have to be honest, uh, that kind of terrifies me at the moment. I'm not sure I have the energy to push this old girl a couple of miles if something horrible happens. So I, I, I'm not sure I'm ready for that. Maybe that's what episode 20 should be. A nice way to close out the series is after 20 episodes, you get to see her go up and down the road and uh, the next chapter, which which would obviously be yes, we got to put the new carburetor in, but I, I, that's easy enough to do. I can put the new carburetor on when we put new spark plugs and just give her an all-around tune-up. But before I do that, I just want to make sure she actually runs and drives, even as she runs and drives shitty, at least she runs and drives 
uh, to where you don't have to worry about her dying on the road somewhere. Anyway, as always, in this world when you can be anything you want, you be kind, you be humble, and be forgiving. And uh, we'll see you in episode 20. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.